guys welcome to boxing block center the home of nigerian african boxing please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscriber right now well dion to the bronze bomba wilder according to recent news could face jang jile on the other kind of Oh, uh, Joshua is as fast as Ghana. This is a very, very. I mean, it's a hard fight for one, bro. Janjale spoke on a potential fight against Wada. He said, Yeah, I quote Wada is such a great fighter. I open my hands to welcome that fight. That would be a great bang for the sport of boxing. Don't overthink, man. Let's do it, bro. Jang can fight. Jang can fight. This is a this is a back to back hard fight for someone that hasn't fought. That's that's only fought um once in two years. No, no one three. Like only had fought, fought one round in two years, bro. Before fighting Parker. That is a hard hard fight. The ADBC right here are gonna be like basically basically crying, but what is a warrior? But I feel like the thing people will say is that okay, he needs to rebuild, but he's 38, he's 38 now. 38 years old. When does he rebuild? That's the thing, that's the problem right there. Bro, what do you make of this right here? What a Jangela on the on the cutoff. Joshua um Francis Ghana Deontay the bronze bomba <laughs> listen um well you have to give him credit well, for 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 taking the fight if if he takes the fight I don't know I I pointed this out to to uh to people right you got to get credit where credit is due. I wasn't able to join you guys in in the uh, reaction of uh, while they're losing to Parker, right? <clears throat> but I'm going to say this. While there's actions leading up to Joseph Parker fight was his downfall. You don't know how to keep your mouth shut. Should have just went in there, not said anything, but he continued to bow mouth AJ continuously. Oh, oh, I'm hearing things, he's trying to avoid me. Listen, man, I don't know what the issue is. You're just going to distract yourself from the task at hand, right? AJ lost to Andy Ruiz while he was jumping for joy, all that good stuff. Never, never plays the good part and just shutting his mouth. AJ fights Parker while they're said park why the put on instagram yeah um you did nothing wrong parker and those lines um you got robbed blah 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 blah, blah. right which is absolutely farce while just doesn't I, I believe while there's just i think he's a guy who's um who's no who, who who knows himself deep down inside that AJ is more of a of of a people's champ than he is. He's got to play the role of the bad guy. That's my opinion, because AJ is a good guy. AJ has a better manager, better promoter. They they built him up properly, you know, and that's why Rado continues to ridicule AJ and never just gives him AJ his uh, his flowers or his recognition that is due, and. Now that he lost to Parker Wilder, he recognized, damn, this is this, this is shit that H has been going through all these years. He's been fighting these guys, these tough opponents, like back and back and back to back to back. And it's it, this these this thing is is not easy. It's not easy. Because now we talked about AJ having issues with shorter fighters compared to him, AJ, not having issues with bigger and taller fighters. It plays into the perspective when I say 
it goes the same way for for Deontay Wilder. Just he does that doesn't have this minus the skills to be able to hold them all for to 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 put something together. Unlike AJ, who has the skills and necessary components to do it. He might have issues with shorter fighters, but he can still do it. Can still pull away with the win. As to Wilder, he's fighting a shorter fighter. He's long range. Those shorter fighters just just have to continuously move. Wilder's uncoordinated. He can't really move. You know, those shorter fighters is gonna duck out the way. You know, that's all they gotta do. They're short. Make them show. Make them make themselves even shorter. You know, that's it, right? And AJ has been more of a people. If AJ fights a shorter fighter, he'll probably try to make himself small. Try to you know try to land shots. You know that's why that whole thing with AJ doesn't fight big. No, AJ's been fighting shorter fighters, makes himself smaller to try to land those shots, right? And when the fight, when you see the difference when he fights bigger guys, it's he has an easier time than shorter guys. Uh, Deontay Wilder, you can see that he's fought. Parker and he had an extremely difficult time. Extremely difficult time. There ain't no way he can even land that right hand, right? Shows you the level of this shit. And Parker is an old, old shell of himself. Extremely old shell. The Parker now that would have fought that that fought AJ would have not. If he, if he, if he would have fought Deontay Wilder right now, would have easily beat Deontay Wilder within four rounds, right? The one that even fought Andrew Ruiz would have easily beat Deontay Wilder within four rounds. That's just me being serious. But now that that's happened, am I am I am I saying Wilder's going to lose to Zhang Zilei? No, I don't think so. I absolutely do not believe Wilder's going to lose to Zhang Zilei because I believe Zhang Zilei is an extremely big guy. He's a huge guy. The guy's huge. Move slow. Joe Joyce is an even slower fighter but still was able to land some incredible shots. Joe Joyce. But Joe Joyce, you know, unfortunately played into that role thinking he was indestructible. Hey, you're going to meet somebody, a immovable force is going to meet somebody who's going to crack you one day and you're going to get it, who's going to move you and you're going to find out you are movable. Joe Joyce, bit, Joe, Joe Joyce fell into that that hype. Kudos to Joe Joyce. I think he's going to, he learned his lesson. He's not going to fall into that hype. He's going to be better. I believe now that him and Wilder are uh, Wilder has no while Zang Lee and Wilder are gonna fight. I'm telling fans right now, Zang is too big. That is the easiest fight for Wilder. Uh, my, uh, the thing is right now, Wilder's gonna knock this guy out within maybe five rounds, five to six rounds. And Wilder's if Wilder's not stupid, okay, Wilder's not stupid. Zang Zang is let me not say, Zang is a smart fighter. Extremely smart, extremely crafty, but he's slow. You know, when I say crafty, he's not quick. Crafty means he'll set something up without you seeing it, and then he's gonna hit you with it, right? And that's it. All all of the fighters that Zhang has been fighting up until Deontay Wilder have been extremely slow. Those guys have been big, big heavyweights that do not move around. Big, big heavyweights that don't move around. Now he's gonna fight somebody who like Wilder. Who's quick? Not on his feet. His hands are quick. Stretch that right hand. If he, if he, if, 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 if Malik Scott knows what to do, he know he'll tell Wilder how to hide how to hide his right hand behind the jab, right? How to how to really set something up and hit James Lee with it. But if that doesn't work, Malik Scott has spelled Wilder, and I would advise. And I'm being serious. I, my advice to Wilder is this a moment. That's it. You're out. Just let it go. That's it. Right? Because now the guy you're fighting against lady, 40 years old. Covering it, my fault. Now, you know, if Malik Scott's unable to actually show Wilder how to jab and hide his right hand behind the jab, it's going to be an issue. He's going to lose to Zhang Zilei because Zhang is a big guy. He's slow. Okay? He's extremely slow. And he's easily hit. He can easily get hit. Joe Joyce has hit him with something good, but I think Wilder hits extreme. Uh, Wilder hits extremely ten times harder than Joe Joyce, right? And if Wilder hits Zhang, I yeah, 
there's a, there's probably a, 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 a somewhere in there where Zhang is gonna get back up, but the 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 the, uh, the odds to that is extremely is gonna be low. It's gonna leave him dazed, much like much like Dominic Brazil. I see Zhang Zelay going down like Dominic Brazil, right? I'm telling you, Wilder knows how to dispatch quick guys, slow like slow heavyweights. He knows how to dispatch them. Those guys that don't move around, okay. Wilder knows how to dispatch those guys. If if Zhang knows what's good for him, he'll be know he'll know how to move his head. You know how to how to hide how he, Zhang's a southpaw, which means that leaves him a tricky fighter. Which means he can there's a and, and I'm not saying he can't hurt Wilder. Of course he can hurt Wilder. He's a big guy. You know I've told, I've said this so far. It all depends on who hits who, who hits who. With the with 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 the with the, at the right time. With the nastiest hand, you know. Wilder's chin extremely suspect. I believe Wilder doesn't have a chin. Wilder gets not. Wilder Wilder get her anytime. Wilder's chin is not strong at all, right? So it's it's who hits who with the best right hand at this far, and my money is going to go on Wilder because he's much quicker with the right hand, and he knows when to hit it. But if if he if he takes his time and doesn't know doesn't know when to throw that right hand, it's going to be over. That's it. I believe Wilder's probably gonna get knocked out in in the ninth round, but if if it if it's the other way around, Zhang is gonna get knocked out within five five to six rounds. Simple. That's what a sure take on this, guys. You heard it from what up, Todd Jugway. Stay tuned for more. Let's lose right here. Let's go. Cheers.